Hello, everyone. I am Chao Chuan. Let's draw the Anchionis. Anchionis is a dinosaur that looks very close to a bird. This model displays its look a bit like a poultry. Still, it was pretty different from birds. For example, its tail was very long. Its feet had wing-like feathers, and its front and hind limbs had actually evolved into wings. Anchionis was one of the first dinosaurs discovered to have colored feathers, and we know exactly what color it was. For example, it had a red crest, some small red spots on the face, and was overall gray. There were black and white stripes on the feathers of its tail and limbs. Once we know the color of its feathers, we can have a good understanding of what this animal looked like when it was alive. But it also brings difficulty in painting. The stripes on the tail and body make it look more complicated. Now, let's draw the Anchionis step by step. We start with its eyes. Its eyes can be drawn round, like those of birds. Above its eyes was a tuft of feathers, resembling that of a woodpecker. It had very long red feathers. Then, let's draw its mouth in front of the eyes. Its mouth was relatively small and pointed. Some tiny teeth were housed in the front of the mouth. Then, we draw its nostrils. Its lower jaw was relatively slender, and the posterior of the jaw was covered with feathers. Now, let's draw its neck downward. Its neck looked somewhat stout as it was covered with feathers. Then, we draw its back backward. Then, draw its forelimbs. The forelimbs of Anchionis have developed into wings, but we still should know the specific position of its arms within the feathers. The upper arm looks like this, and the forearm is like this, so we draw its forelimbs in this look. Starting from the back of the forearm, we draw its primary flight feathers, a fan-like structure. Next, let's draw its palm. The palms were also covered with feathers. The ends of the palms were connected to its secondary flight feathers, those on the tips of bird wings. Then, we draw its claws. The first finger was not long, the second was the longest, and the third was shorter and buried in the feathers. Let's briefly show the wing on the other side. For the three claws on this side, the second one was buried in the feather, and so was the third one. For this finger, we just simply outline it under the feathers. Next, let's draw its legs. We should draw its legs starting from this point, as the front part is blocked by feathers. Here are its feet. Anchionis' feet were covered in many feathers, like those of owls. It also had feathers on the rear of its legs, forming another pair of wings. The closer to the feet, the shorter the feathers were.
There were four toes on its feet, which were covered with feathers with only the tips visible. These are the two outside toes, and this is the second one on the inside. The second claw becomes very long and sticks up like a hook. Now, let's draw the foot on the other side. Most of the other leg is blocked, so we just draw this foot. We can see the specific appearance of its feet from this side. There were four toes in total. This is the first toe, the second one is raised high like a hook, and the rest of the foot is covered with feathers. Then, let's draw the feathers on the rear of its legs. Now, we come to its tail. The base of its tail was covered with many very long feathers. Its tail was not very long, but had feathers like this on both sides. Let's draw the gaps between these feathers. We can draw some spots on the feathers. Anchiornis is a dinosaur that had the colors of its feathers found. It had some black spots on its wings, just like today's woodpeckers. Most of its body was grey, but its wings were black and white. The top of its head was red, and there were some small red spots from its face to its neck. We can slightly show these feathers with some little red patches. In this way, we've finished drawing this Anchiornis.